How much trouble we are in depends on how we respond to this as a society. We can manage this, in my opinion, um, by being smarter about how we're using that water. Uh, simply put, we can't really evacuate all of our cities and we have to find a way to do more with less. States have already been slammed by water cuts out west and now have three weeks to come up with an emergency plan or face more cutbacks. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Joey. You're watching Vegas DTEC. We're in the command center today. Just want to give you this uh, little report that I came across right here. And it shows NASA releases new Lake Mead satellite images. Shows dramatic water loss since 2000. I just want to go through this with you. It's kind of peculiar, kind of scary, kind of curious. Maybe you guys could uh, shed your thoughts on here and tell me what it is that we're looking at. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. So we're going into this thing here. Let's take a look at this image right here. This is the uh, satellite image of uh, Lake Mead Overton Arm in the year 2000. Then we go to the year 2021 and in one year to 2022. All right. So let's just take a look at this, guys. In the Overton Arm here, you're going to be looking at the left-hand side here. This is the Muddy River and then the Virgin River. These are little tributaries, okay, little teeny rivers that are fed by the actual reservoir. Now let's take a look at this Overton arm here. Look, look at how this Overton arm just went way out like that. And just take a look how in 2021, that way out, you could just see the skid marks. No more. Right? And then in just one year, we're taking a look at this here. Look at this, all of this, all of this dried out overbearing. Right? And just take a look right now how this overbearing has stretched from here all the way down to here. Done right that is pretty dramatic man pretty dramatic within one year now this is going to be really really good down here i'm going to scroll down here now this is an interactive look okay now we're going to take a look at this i'm going to scroll and as i scroll we're going to go from 20 from the year 2000 to 2022 now watch this guys Th I, this is very curious to me where in the heck does the colorado feed lake mead this is lake mead right this is the Overton Arm. The Colorado does not come in this way. This is the uh, Muddy River. This is the Virgin River. Okay, the water actually flows out to those guys, making those rivers, and those rivers are, are drying up. This is the way. This is the way, the Colorado feeds Lake Mead. Now this is going to be very shocking, to you guys. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and start the scroll. Ready? Boom what where is the colorado coming in right i mean look 2000 you can clearly see where the colorado comes in okay you can clearly see that the colorado is coming in right here flowing in feeding the main part of the lake going into overton then you've got these narrows and then you're going to have lake mead right here the hoover dam is right down here Okay, so this all makes sense. But then if we scroll this thing in, guys, where in the heck is the Colorado inflow? This thing already looks like this first part where the where it's supposed to flow in, this is already looking like a ponded situation is about to happen right here. Look at that. There's plenty of there's plenty of room in here for boats to get around and there's a big old channel to, to, to enjoy yourself and water can flow. But when you take a look at that, where? I, I, I don't I don't see. Can you guys tell me? The Colorado is supposed to be right here. I, I don't see anything. If you're not getting any water, how in the heck? I, I guess that's how the lake is dropping. You're not getting any water. I can't even see anything here, man. So anyways, let's just take keep, keep looking at this, man. I want you to pay attention to, some, to, to this right here. Look at how big, look at how big this body of water is right here, right? I see potential or of, of ponded right here. This looks like it's drying all the heck. If the water is coming in through here, how is this getting ponded? All this thing has to do right here, man, is be a high point. Water can't get past here. This looks like it's going to get ponded. And then this big body of water right here, this is a humongous body of water right here. And take a look at that. Gone. Turned into a little teeny channel. Now let's pay attention up here at the Overton Arm. Take a look at all of this right here, man. This is a huge body of water in the Overton Arm here, okay? 
Now we're going to scroll over there and watch this. Ready? Boom. Dude, ponded again. Think of the millions of fish that are in this area, man, that are going to get ponded. Ponded carp. Once this narrow completely closes right here, this becomes ponded, man. Nothing in, nothing out. You can clearly see that this right here is already dried up and the overbearing is taken, taken over in the Muddy River and the Virgin River. I mean, dude, I'm not making this stuff up, dude. This is a satellite image of what's going on. Look at that. Look at how the body goes. Now let's just let's just get in over. Let's just get in over here. Let, let's just focus on this, okay? Now check this out, man. This thing looks like the narrows are getting very thin. Looks like this could possibly get ponded. I'm already seeing that this could be ponded. And then here we go with another ponded action right here. Then this area looks like it could be cut off. Right? And then the water will flow through here. And then what you're seeing over here is look at this. Look at look at the Lake Mead area, guys. Okay? Now, right here, guys, you can't even see. You cannot even see uh, the island and the marina. You can't even see it right here. Right? Hoover Dam is right here, guys. Watch this. Ready? Rock Island came out of the water, dude. Right here, Rock Island, that whole island is underwater, bro. Okay, and take a look at this. Two islands came out. This one and this one. Two islands came out when that drought hit. And then here, this is the marina right here. Now, guys, from what I can see, the intake, the intake pipes, intake pipe one and two, they're right here. I do not know where intake pipe 3 is. If intake pipe 3 is somewhere in this area, what happens, man, if this gets cut off right here? What happens if this gets cut off right here? Ponded situations happening here. These are bottlenecks. Ponded, ponded, ponded. Right? So you got three areas here that could just be cut off from each other. What happens if this right here gets bottlenecked? What happens if this gets bottlenecked here? I can't even see the Colorado flowing in anymore, man. Can you? I can't see it. <laughs> Dude, if there's nothing coming in, this absolutely makes sense that the lake is going to go from this with no water coming in to this. I don't know what the government is telling you guys, man, but take a look at this craziness right here. That is nuts, man. If this don't wake people up, man, as to the series of water going away, I don't know what does, man. Okay? But like I said, what happens if the intake is right in here, which I do believe, absolutely, I believe that the third intake for Las Vegas is in this area, not in this area. Because at least if the intake was in this area over here and the water continued to flow, even if this thing got cut off here and the dam didn't get any more water, no inflows, no outflows going out from the dam, at least if the intake pipe was here, the inflow of the Colorado would still be able to get to that pipe. But if the intake is over here and this narrow gets cut off, how are these people going to get water? Because look, that was that's how the channel looked. And this is how it's looking now. Dude, I'm just going to do this thing real slow one last time for your, for you guys. Real slow. Let's take a look, guys. Remember, this is where the Colorado comes in. Here we go. I don't even see the Colorado coming in no more, man. And this thing changing color, dark blue denotes depth. This thing turning green like this denotes shallowness. Okay, so this is getting really shallow over here. And then rolling on, taking a look at the Overton arm, we're going very slow. Just look at the dry up, dude. And as, as I was telling you before, look at the color changes. Green, green. This is starting to turn green. Look at the dark. The dark blue is how, how when it's deep, man. So we're getting deep into the channel now, man. Okay. Rolling through here again. It's getting narrow, narrow. And you can see the watercolor, man. You can see the watercolor getting very, very thin in this area. 
you know, people can play around and say that there's nothing really going on, no worries about it, and they're not going to be concerned about water until they can't open up their tap and get anything out of it. This is a very serious issue, man, and I just don't understand how the focus every single day should not be upon this water situation. How many states need this water to flow in through here? How many people need that? to keep this thing filling up so that it can come out the dam. Look at this little teeny vein right here. This is the water that flows out and goes to California, Arizona, and Mexico. Just this little teeny sliver right here, bro. And just take a look at that. This is what we're dealing with right now. You know, and, and, I'm, and I know you guys are probably saying, no, that's not true, man. This shouldn't be the Colorado because if this is the case, you guys ain't getting no water. Well, I'm looking through here. There's the overland shot, but let's just change this thing up to this. Here we go. Here's a thing of the Colorado. This is the Colorado River Basin, how it actually flows, man. So you've got the Colorado River right here, man. So you got the Rockies right here. And here's where the Colorado River starts. It flows all through here, comes down through here. It goes to Glen Canyon Dam or Lake Powell, flows out of there, comes through Grand Canyon right here and it comes to the bottom you see these two bends here you got the upper which is the overton arm and you got the lower which is where how the grand canyon feeds the water and it comes right into las vegas to the dam okay so you see the split virgin river grand canyon this is the entrance going back to our this is it right here colorado river comes in right here dude this is the overton arm this is going to be virgin river where is the water coming in at guys I just don't see it scary man this is a I don't know it's an eye-opener for me dude I don't know what you guys think please leave your uh, comments down below help me out tell me what we're looking at here because uh, this right here man is just shocking footage from 2000 to 2022 dude this is a big concern but anyways guys like I said we're here at the command center or aka my laptop taking a look at some of these reports trying to give you guys the information in real time stuff the news may not want to show you stuff the news may not want to give you a real snippet of but i'm gonna give it to you as best way as i can and that's the, that's it right there so anyways guys thank you very much man quick little video joey vegas d tech i'll catch you guys in the next episode you guys take it easy bye now